Did you know that pancreatic cancer often starts without any obvious cause, but science has uncovered key risk factors some within your control? Hi, I'm Dr. James from Pancreatic Cancer Warriors, and today we're diving deep into what really triggers this silent killer. Have you ever wondered why some people develop pancreatic cancer while others don't? It's a complex puzzle, but we're piecing it together. Bricker mutations, famous for their link to breast cancer, also raise pancreatic cancer risk. And there are other inherited syndromes too. Lynch syndrome, for example, can increase your chances of developing this devastating disease. Did you know it's one of the biggest controllable risk factors for pancreatic cancer? That's right. Up to 25% of cases are linked to smoking. Shocking, isn't it? A poor diet, high in processed meats and low in fruits and vegetables, can set the stage for pancreatic cancer. But here's the good news. Changing your diet is something you can do starting today. Let's start with genetics. Your family history plays a crucial role. It can malfunction if not properly maintained or if exposed to harmful elements. Your genes are like the blueprint for this machine. Some blueprints might have flaws that make the machine more likely to break down. Over time, this constant stress can lead to serious problems like cancer. Heavy alcohol use can inflame your pancreas over time, potentially leading to cancer. Alcohol abuse, that's like constantly overheating the engine. A poor diet and obesity. It's as if you're using the wrong fuel and overloading the system. What can you do? Maintaining a healthy BMI isn't just good for your heart. It's crucial for your pancreas too. And your diet. Make it colorful. Load up on fruits and vegetables. Cut back on processed meats and high-fat foods. Your pancreas will thank you. But knowing your risk factors can help you and your doctor decide if you need earlier or more frequent screenings. First, it might seem scary. But knowledge is power. Understanding your risk can lead to better prevention strategies and earlier detection if cancer does develop, if you smoke. But understanding these factors empowers you to take control of your health. While stress itself isn't a direct cause of pancreatic cancer, chronic stress can weaken your immune system and lead to unhealthy coping behaviors. These, in turn, can increase your cancer risk. So, find healthy ways to manage stress. Exercise, meditation, hobbies whatever works for you, quit, the survival rates dramatically improve. While we don't have a foolproof early detection method yet, understanding and managing your risk factors is the next best thing. The walk you took instead of watching TV, it counts. The stress relief techniques you're practicing, they're important. These small, daily decisions add up to significant protection over time. It's like having a head start in a race against a formidable opponent. Maybe it's swapping one processed meal for a home-cooked one. We're here to empower you with knowledge and support you on your health journey. Your pancreas and your whole body will thank you for it. Until next time, this is Dr. James, wishing you the best of health. Together, we can fight against pancreatic cancer and work towards a healthier future for all, or adding a 10-minute walk to your daily routine. These small changes can snowball into significant health improvements over time. So when you're making healthy choices, you're not just preventing one disease, you're boosting your overall health and well-being. That's simply not true. While you can't change your genes, you can change how they express themselves through lifestyle choices. But knowledge without action is like a car without fuel, it won't get you anywhere. So take what you've learned today and put it into practice. It's like having a predisposition for sunburn you can't change your skin type, but you can wear sunscreen and limit sun exposure. Up to 25% of pancreatic cancer cases are linked to smoking. That's one in four cases that could potentially be prevented. Pancreatic cancer risk factors include genetics, lifestyle choices like smoking and diet, certain medical conditions, and environmental exposures. While some factors are beyond your control, many are not. You have the power to significantly reduce your risk through healthy lifestyle choices. If you're a smoker, let that sink in. Your choice to quit could literally save your life. It's tough, but it's one of the best things you can do for your pancreas and your overall health. Limit alcohol consumption. Keep it moderate. Over time, your risk can approach that of another. It's never too late to make a positive change, or better yet, minimal. Chronic inflammation in the body can create an environment where cancer cells thrive. Many of the risk factors we've discussed obesity, poor diet, smoking contribute to chronic inflammation. By addressing these factors, you're not just reducing your pancreatic cancer risk, you're improving your overall health. And what about your weight? Obesity isn't just a cosmetic concern, it significantly ups your pancreatic cancer risk. 
but you can change your lifestyle. Isn't that amazing? You have the power to significantly reduce your risk. Have you heard of chronic pancreas? It's long-term inflammation of the pancreas, and it's a known risk factor. Over time, they can eat away at its defenses. Diabetes is another condition to watch out for, especially long-standing type 2 diabetes. If your close relatives have had pancreatic cancer, your risk increases. But it's not just about family ties. Follow safety protocols rigorously. In your home, consider using natural cleaning products and pesticides when possible. Imagine catching it early, dot dot dot. That's where knowing about genetic mutations comes in. But here's the thing. Genetics isn't the whole story. Your lifestyle choices matter a lot. Work closely with your doctor to keep your blood sugar under control. This not only helps with diabetes, but may also reduce your pancreatic cancer risk. Have you ever thought about the chemicals you're exposed to daily? Certain pesticides and metals have been linked to increased pancreatic cancer risk. It's not just what's inside your body, but what's around it that matters. Smoking, it's not just bad for your lungs, but there's more you need to know. Let's talk diet. What you eat matters more than you might think. Now, some medical conditions can also increase your risk. But wait, there's more. Your environment plays a role too. Let's break this down further. Imagine your pancreas as a complex machine, like any machine, but even with a perfect blueprint, how you treat the machine matters. Smoking is like pouring sand into the gears. Now, think about chronic pancreatitis and diabetes as ongoing wear and tear on this delicate machine. And those environmental factors, they're like exposing your pancreas machine to corrosive elements. But here's the empowering part. Many of these factors are within your control. You can't change your genes, so watch your weight. If you have diabetes, manage it well. And what about those environmental factors? While you can't control everything, you can be mindful. If you work with chemicals, now, let's talk about early detection. Pancreatic cancer is often called a silent killer because symptoms typically do UNT appear until the disease is advanced. If you have a family history of pancreatic cancer or known genetic mutations, Talk to your doctor about genetic counseling. Remember, having risk factors doesn't mean you'll definitely get pancreatic cancer, and not having them doesn't guarantee you won't. Here's another crucial point. Stress management. Let's circle back to that shocking statistic about smoking. But what if you've already quit? Good news uris starts decreasing as soon as you stop. Now, let's address a common misconception. Some people think that if cancer runs in their family, there's nothing they can do. Here's something else to consider. Inflammation. It's a buzzword in health circles, and for good reason. Let's talk about the power of prevention. Imagine catching pancreatic cancer early. Here's an empowering thought. Every healthy choice you make is a step towards cancer prevention. That salad you chose over fast food, it matters. Remember, your body is an interconnected system. What's good for your heart is often good for your pancreas too. As we wrap up, Let's revisit the main points. Knowledge is your first line of defense. By understanding these risk factors, you're already taking a crucial step towards protecting yourself. Remember, every step counts. You don't have to overhaul your entire life overnight. Start small. If you found this helpful, subscribe to Pancreatic Cancer Warriors for more life-saving insights. Stay informed, stay proactive, and most importantly, stay healthy.